guys i was gonna say good morning but it's not the morning our whole routine has been very off and uh it's just been a bit strange for four days in a row now delilah has woken up in the morning anywhere between 7 30 and 8 30. i mentioned it on twitter and a lot of you guys said that actually um when your guys guys's guys children um got to about 11 months a year they started to sleep in longer and uh drop and drop a nap and have one big nap in the afternoon so it's looking like delilah's going that way the problem being is it completely screws up our routine uh in the sense of uh, going to classes because even though she's moving up to the next set of classes in september her classes are still at like 11, 12 o'clock and that's when she's going to want to nap as she carries on this new wake up time. I was very much used to having the morning here and then her going down for her nap. Then after her nap would go out and do something, then come back and she'd nap again and then maybe maybe would go out again. And now it's like, oh, I don't know what to do in the morning because we, I have to kind of get myself ready for the day when, when she's up, which I do a lot of the time anyway. But then we have to kind of like go and do something and um, then bring her back for her nap and it, yeah it proved really hard on Thursday Friday because she had classes which um, meant I had to walk her out in the pram a couple of times that day because we didn't get back in time um, for her to sleep here and then she fell asleep in the pram and she only really slept for like an, half an hour instead of like two hours and so yeah i had to keep taking her out in the pram and it was just it was a bit difficult but I'm sure we'll get, I'm sure we'll get used to it I'm not complaining I'm um, all moaning for anyone that keeps saying I'm moaning. God, literally, I, like, I can't say anything without people saying I'm moaning. Like, quite clearly, I'm moaning right now about people moaning about me moaning. Oh, sometimes I'm just having a discussion. Or sometimes I'm just stating the obvious. It doesn't mean I'm complaining. Um, so, yeah, that's what we're dealing with this week. We're trying to adapt to a new routine that could potentially just completely go back to her other routine i don't know or well delilah's almost a toddler <laughs> but uh, babies toddlers children they're unpredictable so yeah who knows she might go back to her normal half six wake up time i don't know i'm feeling very thrown off right now um but it is kind of nice at the same time to have a bit of a change up in the routine but i'm just gonna have to it's gonna take a while to get used to it so we've been in all morning i've curled my hair because i plan on filming um for my other channel later anyway i'll quickly show you my outfit i have this dress on from i do not know where it's from you may recognize it if you've seen my like the birth vlog on my other channel oh no did i no i put it on this channel no um it's on this channel maybe i'll link it at the end of this video or in the description and um i wore this on the day delilah was born or maybe maybe the next day after actually um when we came home with her and i originally got this dress on asos there are no labels in this so i don't know what brand it's by they, i mean they wouldn't have it anymore anyway i got it this time last year in the sale i think i got it for like a tenner oh hello <laughs> you just opened the door by yourself clever clever sausage clever sausage hello i was talking about you kind of i was talking about when you were born you want to shut the door move your feet there we go yeah shut daddy out yeah just showing my outfit hi Oh, God, my legs have gone all, like, purple. It's, I don't know about you, but my legs always go, like, purple when I've been standing too long and not moving. Maybe it's just a pale person problem. Yeah, I got this thinking, oh, yeah, it'll be nice and, um, nice and baggy so it's not showing any lumps and bumps and it's not, you know, no trousers so my sword and knee's not going to get, like, made sore, if that's a word. Anyway, um, you know what I'm trying to say. I just thought it would be an easy dress to pop on post labour it wasn't really because i i underestimated how much of a bump i'd still have so you could just completely see my bump which made this non-maternity dress just really short at the front so that that wasn't good and also it made trying to breastfeed delilah which she was doing like every half an hour hour it made breastfeeding her really difficult because i had to completely pull my dress up and um yeah it didn't fit as um as nicely because i you don't realize how much bigger your boobs are when you've just had a baby and how much bigger it makes just everything your rib cage your hips um waist and whatnot until kind of i don't know six months a year postpartum when i've not like i've not particularly lost any weight but i've just like kind of gone back to my normal shape my boobs have kind of adapted and you know gotten smaller and so 
this was like so tight on me and it just didn't fit right and now it fits me kind of like it should have originally yeah long story short this is the dress i'm wearing it's got kind of like little flares on the ends of the sleeves and it's in this like jersey um stripy fabric and it's just really comfy and just a, a sweet dress to throw on and i remembered that i had it in the wardrobe a couple of days ago and i thought i'm gonna try try it on and see if it actually looks nice now so yeah i'm wearing that with my boots and my trusty Kate Spade bag. So yeah, that's today's outfit. We are now gonna head out and um, go get some coffee. He's staring at pickle. Delilah is sporting uh, this little Gap number. She had the exact same style when she was born from Gap, the exact same cut and everything. I can't believe you're yawning, you've just woken up. But it had like um, much smaller polka dots on and they were in um, like pale pastel colours instead. And now she's wearing the big girl version, aren't you? You wanna say hello? Hi guys, how are you doing? <laughs> Just got our coffees. Doug got a flat white, I usually get a flat white but I fancied a cappuccino for a change. I got myself a slice of lemon drizzle. different place than what I was uh, a second ago. Doug's driving around in the car whilst Delilah sleeps and um, all week I've been wanting to come into Sweaty Betty to try on some workout stuff. It's been a long time since I have done yoga and um, I was about to say I want to get back into uh, working out. I've never really worked out. Who am I kidding? But yeah, I am um, wanting to look after myself a bit more and uh, start doing yoga again and doing a bit of weight training and stuff like that. So. Um, I was having a look online at all the different workout brands and clothing and I was just like no I, I, I just completely don't know what I need, what sizes I need or anything so I thought I'd come in here and try some stuff on. Picked up these little uh, shorts, got this little um, bra to try on and then this uh, just nice comfy baggy top and also these trousers. It's a bit of a squeeze to try and get into these. Yeah, the colour is gorgeous. It's so quiet in this shop. I feel very awkward vlogging. But anyway, uh, I'm going to try and whisper. I actually really like these uh, trousers. They're not trousers, leggings. They're really soft. I mean, all of it's really soft. Like, this top's really soft as well. Um, and and they really sort of hold in my mum arm, which is always a bonus. But I'd have to roll them up at the bottom because my legs are too short for them. Um, unless they do a shorter pair but I do like them they're comfy they're sort of a mix between a legging and a workout trouser so I feel like they're not going to be too hot so yeah I might get those I'm definitely going to get this bra it's in this lovely kind of burgundy red wine colour I'll try and show you it without flashing the rest of my tummy uh, but yeah that's what the bra looks like I've taken the padding out I actually prefer it without the padding but um it's quite good because uh, usually you just get like two of these stuffed into bras but they're actually attached so they don't get all twisted if you do want to keep the padding in. The back just looks like that. You can't really see it. You can probably see it through the top if I do that. <laughs> okay, that's what the back looks like. So yeah, really like the bra. And then I like this top, but I'm gonna get it in the next size up because it's just a little bit, a little bit too tight and I feel like it should be baggier and then I'm guessing it's gonna shrink a little bit in the wash. I'm pretty sure all of this is in the sale as well. So that's a bonus. Um, I'll link everything in the description if I can, if I can find it online. Hello. Hello. Back home now and Hello. I decided to get the bra and the top, Hello. except I got the top in the next size up. So I got it in a small instead of an extra small. I'm going to have a look online uh, at trousers because I liked those trousers a lot. They're really... They're really, they were really flattering um, and really comfy and, and lovely and soft but I wasn't quite like I didn't love 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 them. They're a little bit too long for me and um, they were a bit too like 
uh, revealing at the front <laughs> so um i made and the shorts that i tried on again i sort of liked but they weren't like the most flattering so i've taken little Yay. pictures of uh the bar like the serial numbers and the style and the sizes that i tried on so at least now i've got like a guideline of like the size that i am at sweaty oh, betty right. even though it was in the sale i didn't want to buy anything just for the sake of it like i wanted to really like them and um i don't need like loads of workout gear i'm only just sort of getting back into the swing of things i don't want to go crazy and buy loads doug and delilah are gonna head back out uh doug's getting dogs gonna uh, well i've got to film uh, at least one video and i can't even talk in my vlog um doug's doug and delilah are gonna go over to his parents uh which i'm feeling a bit sad about i kind of want to go too because it's a lovely sunny 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 sunday god that's the word i'm looking for it's a nice uh, sunny sunday yeah i kind of want to go over and just chill but um i need to film because i've not put a video up on that channel for like well over a month um and i feel like i've gotten back into the swing of things with this channel so i need to get back into the swing of things on my other channel and just at least try and like upload once a week and then if i can do that for a few months then i'll maybe do like a bonus video every week maybe do two videos a week or just try and do a bonus one when i can but i just need to get back into the swing of things on my other channel I'm gonna pop some um curls back into my hair top up my makeup because i've become all patchy and then i need to set up for filming <laughs> and I'm, I'm feeling all kinds of anxious because i haven't set up to film in what feels like forever and um yeah it feels a bit weird i'm not used to sitting down and talking to the camera on my other channel i'm gonna film something somewhat easy just to kind of e ease me back into uh filming i've got a massive look over here i have a massive little white company bag full of apart from that that's a coffee cup holder so a lot of empties to talk about i may have to miss a few things out because um there's just so many in there when i decided i was going to do the, my empties video i had about half the amount in there that's how long it's been taking me to film uh for my other channel i feel a bit guilt like i feel a bit like oh you know it's my last few hours of the weekend before um delilah has dinner then goes to bed and then it's monday um and then the week starts all over again and i'm spending it filming and like i obviously i love doing what i do and i'm not complaining and i'm not saying oh well me it's a hard life but um every weekend is like my only time that i get a chance to film for my other channel okay not complaining disclaimer not complaining i'm just saying i physically cannot film during the week so my weekends are the only time to film and um when i don't film i feel really guilty and when i do film i'm i'm like missing out on family time and it's gonna get a lot easier for me when delilah goes to um the child minder because i'll have like set days where i can say right i'm gonna I'm gonna do this um, that day i'm gonna film on this day uh, there's been a handful of people that are like i can't believe you can leave your child with a stranger they're not a stranger we've met this lady once already we're gonna meet her again we're gonna have a couple of play dates a couple of settling in sessions i'm gonna get to know this person and she won't be a stranger so I'll, I'll get dedicated hours to myself during the weekday where i can say right i'm gonna film and just get on top of things again i get like simple things like emails i know that i have about 100 unread emails of like legitimate emails that i need to read and reply to not just spam emails like every day i just delete my spam emails um because i can do that really quickly so i have like a good like 100 plus emails that i need to read and reply to because i've just built up over the last like week so even just being able to say right on this day this week i i'll have like an hour or two to reply to emails amazing like it just it's going to make the world of difference anyway i don't want to talk about delilah's childcare and all of that um right now because that's <laughs> that's just like a whole nother video that's just gonna take forever so yeah i'm not complaining i'm not complaining i love my job i love it it's the best job ever i love doing youtube it's um it's just um tough when you've got a baby and i've got two channels and i can't film my main channel videos in the week so in about a month delilah will start at childminders for uh once a week um before she can start properly for like two days a week yeah it'll be amazing to just get um my videos filmed and edited during the week and then weekends will literally just be spend time with doug and delilah i'm sure there'll be weekends where i do do a bit of work but it'll be nice not to have to film at the weekend where i have to like send doug and delilah away for a few hours so i can film like yeah it'll be nice but anyway what was i what was i saying kind of if i could go back and um 
re kind of rejig my YouTube a little bit. I wish I had just stuck with one channel and just done vlogs and sit down videos on the same channel because really you don't need two separate channels for it you can just do playlists or when you upload a video people are going to know whether it's a sit down chatty video about makeup or whether it's a vlog because you could just title it vlog so I, I wish now I could just I wish there was some way that I could just merge this channel with my other channel only doing like one video a week on that channel and then like two or three on this channel is like I feel like I'm doing both channels half-heartedly like in my head I'm not I'm putting my all into them but it is kind of half-heartedly and like business-wise it's not the best thing because with like YouTube algorithms and stuff like that you want to be uploading regularly. I wish I could just have it all on one channel but I have two channels and I'm just gonna have to roll with it because there's just no physical way of merging them. I mean I could if I, I guess I could say right I'm gonna stop uploading on this, on this channel and I'll put it all on my other one um, but I don't really want to I don't know, I don't just want to abandon one of my channels. And then it's like, do I, you know, move all these videos? Well, I can't physically move these videos, but do I start uploading vlogs on my other channel because that's got more subscribers? But then do I start uploading my other channel videos on this channel because this channel actually has, although it has less subscribers, it has more views and more engagement. Like, that's kind of, I'm not going to do that. By the way, I'm not going to do that. I'm, I'm sticking here and I'm sticking on my other channel, but I, I wish there was a way of... <laughs> a way of doing it um yeah anyway i don't know why i started blabbing i get especially because of the comments i've had recently i kind of get a bit anxious about talking about stuff like this because people either say you're complaining or you're ungrateful or they have it so much worse and i'm not complaining and i'm not ungrateful i'm just i'm literally just having a conversation i'm just saying what's in my head and i'm just talking kind of as i'm thinking if that makes sense so many of you guys have been saying that my videos are like therapy like you find them really calming and i'm like ah oh, thanks <laughs> i get what you mean though that like when i um before i had delilah and i could just chill in bed and watch youtube there were like my go there were like go-to youtubers that i would put on to either just chill or have in the background or to have as I fell asleep and not not because I found them boring but just because I found them relaxing and I could just have them playing in the background so it is really nice when people say that I'm their like go-to person to just like re relax and watch um at the end of a hard day and um, so that's nice I think in Delilah's naming vlog um some of you asked me what I used to curl my hair with I use these they're the Tresemme oh I don't know the uh Keratin Smooth hair curlers so i was setting up for filming and i thought you know what i don't want to film in the living room i film here all the time and i want to kind of mix it up and not make all the backgrounds of my videos just look the same um so i thought you know what i'm gonna film in the bedroom because the lighting's not too bad the sun is out but there aren't any clouds so hopefully the sun shouldn't be going in and out any other youtubers will understand the pain of clouds and the sun going in and out all the time when you're trying to film with natural daylight. I didn't really want to film with my rail in the background even though that would be a nice nice background. I feel like I'll save that for when I'm doing clothing hauls and things and I thought why don't I just go old school and film on my bed. You can't quite see obviously the bedroom's quite plain I'm getting there with the decoration but it is quite plain. I've got the cushion in you'll, you'll see and I'll show you in the camera. So um here you'll see that uh I've got the cushion here that will kind of be on like this side of me I'll sit in the middle and then is it gonna focus yeah and then you can you can kind of see the picture frame but you can't get me in properly and the picture frame so um I thought it just looks a bit bare here so I've moved <laughs> the uh bedside table that was there back there because it lived there when Delilah was sleeping in here because that's obviously where the crib was it was originally always on my side and I've moved it back there for now because I think it just just gives it that little something that was missing so um, yeah and I've just grabbed a couple of books from the living room and shoved them on there Doc's gonna come home and be like what the hell have you done? I just finished filming oh my god I just spoke so much like sometimes I wonder why I faff around with this whole setup when this camera is really like really quite nice I, it's just because I like having the the quality of my um, 45mm lens on that camera but it would be so much easier doing it on this one I've just realised I need to now do the thumbnails for my video although saying that I could probably just get a still from the video but do I want to risk it? do I want to risk potentially not being able to get a good screenshot from the video? right I'm going to try and do some awkward um, posing 
to the thumbnail where you're like, ah, ah. And then I need to switch cameras and film the close-ups of all of these flipping products. And then I'll be done. It's uh, just gone four, so I reckon Doug will be home in about an hour. So yeah, we're on good time. So I've done pretty much everything I need to do, except I want to take an Instagram um, of some of these products laid out um, so that when the video goes live, I can pop up a little Instagram to go, hey, go check out my video. I'm not going to attempt to do that today. Um, I'm just going to import the footage onto my computer, do a bit of tidying around the house. So I've imported the footage and I'm somewhat okay, like happy-ish with, like I like the little setup I've got um, and like the colours and the lighting's okay. I feel like because I don't have the light straight on my face like I normally do, it has made like me look like I've got worse under eye circles than I do. Like the, I think the lighting is nice but at the same time I just do look really tired. <laughs> Um, Doug and Delilah will be back in no more than half an hour. So I'm going to use that time to sort out the kitchen. It is a mess. Lilith's back home and then we're just having dinner I why do I always say we're just doing this we're just doing that no we're not having dinner Delilah's having dinner mummy hasn't got any dinner just yet mummy's not got any dinner yet has she Delilah's uh had her dinner now she's having um some peach Doug and Delilah just got back as I was finishing up cleaning and uh, apparently they uh they spent the after i should have given you i should have given the camera to doug for him to vlog but apparently um doug said he, they were in the garden um delilah was splashing around in a bowl of water with some toys and had absolutely nothing on they even took her nappy off and i'm really sad that i missed watching her play in the nod splashing around apparently she face went face first into the bowl of water <laughs> probably because she was trying to stand but yeah i think she had a nice time didn't you over at your grandparents with daddy in about 45 minutes it'll be story time milk bath time bed what you got is it a lion yeah <laughs> uh oh, you coming over? You coming? Mm -hmm. 
we got the memory card with all the photos from Delilah's name in today. So I'm going through all of them to see which ones I want to get printed off. Delilah's having her bath and uh, I got thoroughly attacked by her whilst feeding her. The older she gets, the more abuse I get when she feeds. <laughs> like all I'm trying to do is breastfeed her, give her some nutrition, do a lovely thing for her. And what do I get? I get my hair pulled, fingers up my nose, scratches on my neck, hands in my mouth, cuts on my gums. So while she's in the bath, I haven't got anything um, in particular to do. So I'm carrying on going through um, the photos on my laptop because um, I'm going to print off a load of photos from Delilah's name in ceremony. So I didn't vlog for an hour or two because I've filmed enough today so I thought I'd get quiet for a little bit. Ended up ordering takeout off Deliveroo, got ourselves burgers. I got myself a veggie burger, it's like a mushroom and lentil and then some quinoa. chunky chips. Oh, quinoa quinoa and mushroom. I've managed to order all the photos from, from um, Delilah's name in for her um, photo album. I wasn't expecting to do that tonight so that feels good. I've checked off a big thing on my list for this week and yeah and now we're just gonna watch Netflix and have dinner and go to bed. All the usual stuff so I'm gonna end the vlog here and um, I'll see you in my next one. Bye!